Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. Our last video for this section is going to be on enthalpy, entropy, and spontaneity. And we're going to look at determining whether a process is spontaneous or not, or if a reaction will just kind of go by itself or not. And so our terms, we're going to look at first off enthalpy. Enthalpy is the energy or the heat content of a system. Now, nature tends towards its, or the energy state of the lowest possible. Now, basically, it's saying that things want to be lazy. So as we're going, exothermic reactions want to release energy. They're more favorable because the products have less energy than the reactants. So our energy, potential energy over here, less energy, and so those reactions are more favored um, than reactions that are endothermic. It requires less activation energy than endothermic reactions, and so they're more favorable because you only have to get a little bit of energy to get to that activation, and then we release a lot of energy. So as we're looking at our reactions, if a reaction, predicting, if a reaction, nitrogen plus hydrogen produces ammonia plus heat, if a reaction produces heat, it's exothermic, it's favored. Nitrogen plus oxygen produce N2O. Now notice it says over here delta H is negative 33 kilojoules. Negative numbers are exothermic. So again, this reaction is favored. So exothermic reactions favoring um, enthalpy. Uh, diagram number three here showing us an endothermic reaction where our reactants have less energy than our product, so energy is going in. Endothermic reactions are not favored. So enthalpy is our first part. Going with enthalpy, a very similar name from enthalpy with a heat contact, or content, excuse me, is going to be entropy. Entropy is going to be the disorder of a system. Nature tends to go to a state of grand, or greater randomness or disorder. It's kind of like your bedroom at home. Uh, as you sit in there, it tends to get messier, and things want to get messy or disorganized. And so entropy, um, in our case, uh, with temperature, increasing our phase changes. Solids, most organized. Then liquids. Then if we have something dissolved in aqueous solutions, and finally gases are going to be most disordered. So, oops, disordered. Erd. There we go. So more disordered. So organization to lack of organization. So increasing entropy as we move this way. So increasing. Other one to add in, let's add this in. Elements, more disordered. Compounds have a regular order to them. So like NaCl has some sort of structure or pattern to them. So increased order versus Na plus the Cl. So to get to there, we have more order. A couple practice problems to add in. Nitrogen plus hydrogen to make ammonia. Two gases to a liquid. We're going to have a decrease in entropy because there's more order. So entropy is to go to disorder. Water, liquid, to two gases. This time, we're increasing entropy. There's less order. And our final one here is we've got calcium as a solid, producing solid and a gas. We're going to go to increase entropy. We have less order. So in each of these, we're looking at how organized they are. Now, a spontaneous process, reactions will occur spontaneously if enthalpy is exothermic, so you are lose, losing energy, and your entropy or your disorganization is increasing. Both of these are favored tendencies in nature, so if you're going from products or reactants to products, we've got, whoops, products, we've got exothermic, and then if entropy increases, more disorganized, this will be a favored 
reaction in nature. And that will conclude our section.